This is a CBS 4 News update. Rita Beishabazi with your CBS News update. President Donald Trump's supporters are already at the BB&T Center getting amped up for what the president is calling his homecoming rally tonight. It's President Trump's first rally in Florida since he and the first lady officially became residents of the Sunshine State. It starts at 7 at the BB&T Center, which holds 21,000 people. And while the supporters are excited to see him, you can expect protesters there too. Democrats plan to rally this afternoon. If you're heading out, remember 136,000 Avenue, known as Panther Parkway, is closed in front of the BB&T Center. Garth Reeves, a South Florida civil rights leader and a former publisher of the Miami Times, has died. Reeves was born in the Bahamas. He came to Miami when he was four months old in 1919, and after going to college and serving in World War II, he took over for his father at the Times. Reeves cited his successful efforts to desegregate Miami-Dade beaches as one of his proudest achievements. He also served on numerous boards. Reeves was 100 years old. In world news, at least 18 people are dead in Albania after a 6.4 magnitude earthquake struck close to its capital. Health officials say at least 140 people are injured and dozens are still unaccounted for. Rescue teams are slowly working to try to find survivors in the rubble of collapsed buildings. Now, CBS4 weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Well, after a comfortably cool morning this morning, the warm-up is underway. Tonight, not as cool. Lows in the 60s, 50s well inland. 80s return for your Wednesday. Wednesday night, lows in the 60s. And 80s return on your Thursday, Thanksgiving Day as well. Temperatures will be a little bit above normal while much of the rest of the nation enjoys stormy, cold weather. Uh, kind of the edge of winter-like weather for much of the rest of the country. We're looking at a weak cold front to come through late on Thanksgiving Day, but it's not going to do too much short temperatures drop us back a little bit. Highs in the 80s, lows in the 60s. A stronger cold front is due Sunday night, and that will cool us off quite a bit for Monday and Tuesday of next week. Ruta Bay. All right, Craig, thank you very much. And that is it for us for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.